Isn't everyone on the autism spectrum? Ah, oh, we're all a little bit autistic, aren't we? Is there any truth to all this? Well, in today's video, we're going to find out. So here we go. Well, hello into people, my name is Andy and I make weekly videos about being autistic from my experiences. So if that sounds interesting to you and you would like to stick around, see a bit more, consider hitting that red subscribe button and that notification bell so you do not miss out on anything. And today we're going to be talking about something that I've wanted to talk about for a little while and that is this idea that everyone's a little bit autistic, everyone's on the autism spectrum. But before we get into the video, I just want to give a brief mention to my friend James, who is from Autistic and Unapologetic. Now, he is one of the inspirations for me making this video because he did a blog post about it a few months ago. But also, I wanted to share his blog, his website with you guys because he doesn't just talk about, you know, understanding autism. He also talks about embracing autism, news about autism as well. He covers a ton of things over on his blog. So the link for that will be down below. Thank you, James, for all that you do you are amazing but anyway is everyone on the autism spectrum I feel that when people say things like this I don't feel it's from a bad place I feel like when people say things like this it's a way for them to feel relatable to autistic people to really try and relate to some of the challenges that autistic people face because autism when you really break it down is such a human condition you know and there's aspects of autism that a lot of people can really relate to but I want to go deeper and really talk about is there any truth behind is everyone on the autism spectrum on the one hand I feel there is some truth but also no, because I feel there's a lot of half-truths in there. And we're going to talk about both sides equally. Now, is everyone on the autism spectrum? To some degree, yes. Because I feel that autism, like I say, is a human condition. And therefore, people who aren't on the spectrum or non-autistic people, you know, they can really relate to some of the traits that autistic people experience. People could relate to the social communication aspect or the sensory issues aspect or even the repetitive behaviors. I feel that when you have a look at the DSM-5, for example, you know, and you have a look at the traits individually, people who are not on the spectrum can really relate to someone on the spectrum based on one or two traits. However, even though an autistic person may identify with a trait or two of autism, I don't feel that everyone could be classed as being on the autism spectrum. To be diagnosed as autistic, you know, when someone is diagnosing a individual, they have to look at how their traits, how they present, you know, the signs that could be autism are impacting that individual. So just as an example, we can all be shy, you know, we can all be in a public setting and we can all feel a little bit shy. However, for someone on the spectrum like myself, you know, a new situation, a new place can be really terrifying and causes me to panic because it's the uncertainty you don't know where everything is you don't know what to do you don't know what kind of people you're going to run into you don't know literally anything and that scares me you know just the new and change and it's different it's terrifying and that makes me incredibly anxious and therefore it makes me a little bit more quiet. But also, and this is just my own opinion here, when non-autistic people try to compare their experiences to autistic people's, you know, I feel it can come across as belittling and it can really devalue an autistic person's experiences and their challenges that they face on a day-to-day -day basis. But also by making these comparisons, it can make some of the challenges that autistic people face seem less important than what they really should be. However, I feel when people say everyone is on the autism spectrum, I don't personally feel that it's from a bad place. That could just be, you know, the way I see it. You may not agree with me, you may agree with me, I don't know. But also this video today, this video that you're watching right now is not here to bash you or anyone that you know that has said this because I've said it. You know, I've said things like, oh yeah, we could all be on the spectrum somewhere, you know. I think unless you know, then, you know, ignorance is bliss in a sense. I'm not saying it's right, but at the same time, you know, if you don't know, then you don't know, do you? However, language and the way that we use language, the way we say things has changed and it'll continue to change and evolve. So what I'm going to suggest, you know, if you know someone who says things like this, 
maybe say to them that it's not necessarily the right way to put it. Maybe another way to put it is, I've experienced something similar, you know, or I can relate. Because I know how hard it can be trying to feel relatable in a world that just doesn't get me sometimes. Even though I talk quite well in these videos, you know, I do face struggles of my own. You know, you might not see them in video format, but I do experience them. And when people who aren't on the spectrum can understand and say they understand, that's really valuable to me and I really appreciate it. You know, instead of someone who's not on the spectrum trying to compare themselves to autistic people you know but that's my opinion though what is yours i'd love to know down below in those comments and if you want to see more of my videos there's a selection for you to pick right now and thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos if you enjoyed this but for now stay you stay indie i hope you have a great day and i hope to see you next time